All right, guys, so let's start off by creating a registration view under our view folder here. So it's gonna be a Swift UI view. We're gonna call it registration view. And it's going to be very similar to our login view. So we don't need it to be inside of a navigation stack. We're already inside of one in the login view and that's sort of the root view of this entire flow. So we can just copy and paste a lot of this V stack stuff here. So let's go ahead and get everything up until the text fields. So start at VStack and end at this text field VStack and just go ahead and paste it in here. And then we just need to add a closing bracket. And we're also going to need to add some state properties. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that over right there. And at state private var full name as well. And we're going to add one more of these text fields. So we have email, full name, and password. So just copy and paste that and replace email with full name in the placeholder and the text component. Make sure you do that. So that's looking pretty good. Um, let's just go ahead and at the end of this V stack, add a spacer to get that moved up into the middle. That looks good. And then we can copy and paste our sign up button. We don't need forgot password. We're just going to grab this guy. So as we can see, this is moving extremely fast. And this is going to say sign up. We have our padding. And then lastly, we just need to copy and paste this bottom component. And this is just going to take us back over to our login view. So the functionality will be slightly different, but it's going to look exactly the same. So go ahead and just copy and paste this whole navigation link, guys. And put the divider in there as well. And here's how we're going to set this up. So I'm not sure why the foreground color is gray. That's interesting, but we'll fix that. Um, we're going to make this a button because we don't need it to be a navigation link. Okay, so that fixes that. That's good. Um, and we are going to want to dismiss the screen in our action block. Um, everything else is going to be pretty much the same. We're just going to change this to already have an account, sign in. Right, pretty simple. <clears throat> so how are we going to dismiss this screen? Well, SwiftUI introduced this environment property to help us dismiss a screen, and this is how we set it up. So you create an environment property with this dismiss guy and just declare var dismiss. And then here, we can treat it as a function and just go and say, Dismiss, just like that. So <clears throat> now what I want us to do is go back to our login page and see if we can go back and forth between the screens. Um, and first thing we need to do is replace text sign up view with registration view. And let's go ahead and hit that. And you guys can see here that that looks really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, last thing we want to do, guys, is remove this back button up at the top. I don't think it looks great. Um, so we can get back to the original screen from clicking that bottom button. So all we have to do here is go on registration view and say dot navigation bar back button hidden. And then we can try this again and we are good to go. So that's gonna wrap it up for our login and sign up UI guys. That went really smooth, really fast. And uh, we're gonna hop, we're gonna next up get into the actual uh, main user interface of our application. Let me show you guys what that's gonna look like one more time. We hit login and it takes us over to the main interface. And this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna have like our profile image up at the top. We're gonna be building out our profile this new message view, this active now view up at the top, and then ultimately our message stuff. So that's gonna be really exciting, guys. Let's go ahead and get started with that now.